Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Opinions Matter and uh, guess what has happened? Uh, your Osmo Pocket just got updated and everything has changed. Yes, everything has changed. Why? Because you are going to get better offer autofocusing system today. You are going to get autofocus servo, a better tracking. As you can see right now in this active track, my head doesn't get cut out, cut out at all. In the previous ones, they always used to get a cut out. So today what we are going to do is that I've got my camera with me and uh, we are going to show you what has changed with the new uh, Osmo Pocket firmware update. Yep, this one just got updated. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what got really updated on this new Osmo Pocket. When you want to go to your settings and everything, I think all of this, all of you guys now know that from you have to scroll top to bottom, you can go to AFC, that's good because now you can toggle between AFC and AFS, which is autofocus continuous and servo. And guess what happens? Pro mode just got added. How about that? So in pro mode, you can tap uh, to enter the pro mode. And now you can select what sort of white balance you want, exposure, format in photos. And uh, in videos, it will be different also. So that's a very, very good thing. And let's see if anything else got added or not. But everything remains the same. So number one, we got this face thing so we can actually use this face or glamour settings or whatever it is we're going to figure this out at first uh later on uh so at first we'll be seeing afc uh you know like so you can actually shoot into two different modes now in pictures 16 is to 9 or 3 is to 2 then in afc and afs and then you got pro mode and that's pretty much it and your osmo pocket now gets better active track so in photos what you're going to do is that again you're going to swipe from top to bottom now there is something called glamour settings now let's see what glamour setting does okay to enter into the pro mode at first you go to your video and then you scroll from top to bottom and then you enter into pro mode now you guys are gonna see a tiny pro kind of written out here click on that button and now you can change your uh, colors so for example you were normal before you can go to D cine like alrighty guys so this is a normal color with active track on my face and it's doing face track also now we are going to shoot in um, colors which is called D cine like so let's toggle into D cine like okay so this is active track uh, with face track quite improved from the older version in decena like mode in decena like mode you will see that a little bit of lock profile which means the colors are a little bit down so that you can actually get those colors later up uh, higher in your post production until and unless the external mic adapter comes in um, I've tried to do a lot of experiments uh, nothing is working on the external audio I even even got a TRS to TTRS cable even that is not working so and you can change uh, colors or temperature you know like so for example right now it's a uh, sunny you can keep it as sunny or you can go incandescent fluorescent 21 and you can change the temperature but uh, for white balance I always keep it at auto so that uh, I do not have to adjust that exposure you can bring a little bit dark to preserve your highlights okay good job dji on this because now you have got full manual mode uh, your aperture is going to be the same again so you can change decrease and increase the iso so on the right hand side you can go to iso 200 400 600 and you can increase and decrease the iso on the other hand on the left hand side you will find uh, your shutter speed so you can actually increase and decrease your shutter speed and you can check the exposure on the top now that's amazing job that uh, you got now full manual control on your osmo pocket uh, the older version actually was not that bad in tracking uh, in flashlight mode uh, but uh, DJI actually has said that the autofocus will be better this time. So we are going to do an autofocus okay, this test. This is test to how to how autofocusing changes if there is any pulsing present or not because DJI has just said that they have resolved the issue of autofocus pulsing. So we are going to try to move this with my this thing in a follow mode and we will see whether it focuses in situations when there is a dark light or not. So this is a complete 360 and uh, spot on autofocus amazing job on this because i'm moving around and uh, i can see this is a spot on autofocus all the time even though 
the sun is at the background it still does good auto focusing amazing job on that dji final thoughts yes this was the update a lot of people were waiting i was waiting for this update because now i can manually control my osmo pocket how cool is that if you like this video if you thought this presentation was made in total honesty and i could highlight you the points and everything give me a big big thumbs up like and do press that subscribe button and the notification bell because i make a lot of videos surrounding this osmo pocket Take care.